Sir, why did you choose uh, your MD medicine at Osmania when compared to other colleges? Of course, the, the clinical exposure is what uh, ultimately matters. 200 to 250, uh, 200 to 250 patients per day in OP itself. Sir, can you give the overview of how medicine department stands in Osmania Medical College? <laughs> sir, what are all the substations you will be having like uh, AMC, INC, CQ? Yeah, sir, and of course, AMC includes all the critical cases which are after doing casualty hours or emergency cases. Uh, what are cases uh, do you see in, uh, in the night cases? One kind of advantage where we have seen MI cases, we have seen CVA cases and we have thrombolized the cases. Okay. Sir, what are uh, future job opportunities in media post be? Corporate again, it starts from a case scale of 80 to 1 that goes up to 1.5 to 2. So, sir, is it mandatory to pursue the DM in case of medicine? Be the senior, you always want it. Hi guys, welcome to our YouTube channel, Usmania Docs. Are you planning to take a residency at Usmania Medical College? Let me give you the real inside story regarding residency at Usmania Medical College. Myself, Dr. Treya. Today, I am with our beloved senior, Dr. Rohit Sir, who has done uh, his UG and uh, his uh, medicine residency at Usmania Medical College and uh, now pursuing uh, DM endocrinology at Usmania Medical College. Over to you, sir. Hello, hello. I am myself, Dr. Rohit. Uh, I have done my MBBS uh, MD and currently pursuing my DM in endocrinology at Usmania Medical College. Sir, uh, when did you choose your uh, dream branch, whether in the UG itself or uh, post neat PG or during your internship? Uh? Yeah, my uh, my branch selection, uh, no, definitely it was not after uh, completion of the MBBS, but after internship, the rotatory internship which we do for one year. Then I had an interest uh, more leaning towards the uh, clinical branches and that too non-surgical fields. I was not very much interested uh, or leaning towards surgery, so my primary choices were the non-surgical branches. Uh, mainly medicine and uh, there was also particularly, I was particularly leaning towards anesthesia also. Okay, anesthesia. Yeah. So, yeah, I'd say internship. That's where we get to know more the how the things work, uh, yes. seeing our other, resi other residents do the work and all. That is when I picked up an interest towards this branch. So during your internship, you got uh, interest towards the medicine? Yeah. Uh, uh, two subjects I prioritized. One was anesthesia okay. and medicine was also equally, uh, I prioritized it equally. Okay. Sir, why did you choose uh, your MD medicine at Usmania when compared to other colleges? Uh, other colleges like within the state. In the state government and private institutes, sir. Uh, so, coming, uh, of course, the, the clinical exposure is what uh, ultimately matters because yes. the number of patients we see, uh, there's a lot number of patients, simply put, like we are, nobody can deny that. In the yes. government setup, we have n number of patients. Yes. So, suppose uh, if you take an OP day, uh, yes. each day is an OP day for uh, a single unit, so we get like 200 to 250, uh, 200 to 250 patients per day in the OP itself. From there, we get a lot of admissions, patients okay. who require admissions, who are stable yet require workup for their conditions. Yes. So, a uh, lot, uh, lot much of preference to the patient load and uh, yeah, that would be the main thing. First, uh, patient load is our main, main patient load. Yeah. And yes, uh, investigations are all coming up right now, like MRI, CT, they are all there. But of course, there uh, there is a difference of, uh, between uh, private as well as government. Yes, yes, there is a number of investigations. Mm -hmm. But again, this is also, we have to account for the number of cases. Yes. Sir, how many PG seats are there in Usmani Medical College? Yeah? In Osmania, uh, back then when I was doing my residency, we were 18 of us. So now it has increased to 28 in total. 28? Yeah, and there are 8 units. Okay. Each unit having a minimum of 3 PGs and the rest of them are distributed equally every year. Okay. So the number of seats has definitely gone up. So 28 uh, first year, 28 second year, 28 third year? Right now, the 28 PGs are only in the first year. Okay. So recently yeah, increased, it has been recently increased. Okay. Like, the previous NEET exam. Okay. So that was when the increment had taken place. Okay. Sir, uh, what about uh, course fee details and stipend details? Sir? Course fee, uh, approximately the first year you have to pay an extra university fee okay. and beyond that you have to pay the tuition fee and also first year would be somewhere around uh, altogether around 50k uh, and from the next year it will be 20k, 20K per year, that's per year. year. Okay. So of course again the fee difference between government and private. Yes. And also the fee stipend structure and all will also be varying between the government and private hospitals. Okay. Sir, uh, what about academics regarding classes, uh, thesis, seminars and uh, gender clubs? So we had three academic sessions per week are mandatory. Okay. So I think that's good. It is not too much. Like not daily, we don't have classes okay. which be a, which can feel like a burden sometimes. Yes. And it is well distributed. And uh, Wednesday, every Wednesday, if I'm yeah, Wednesdays. So we have uh, interdepartmental classes. Okay. So broad specialties and super specialties. They discuss. Uh, it's a uh, like special cases or interesting cases are discussed among these specialties. So roughly around three to four classes per week. Per week. And uh, Interdepartmental dis discussions are completely different. The inter intra-departmental classes which we have, again, it is the divided into seminars, journal yeah. clubs, yes. and case presentations. Yes. So based on the year, uh, like final years, there'll be exam home, so they'll, have, they'll be having case presentations, mm -hmm. that is a must of the practice. Mm -hmm. Then first and second years, they'll be divided uh, between seminars and journal clubs. Okay. So what about uh, thesis? Uh, 
cases per yeah uh, you can definitely uh, there's a good exposure to number of cases so yes. sample is what is required for thesis oh, first hand yes. so definitely there's a lot of sample number okay. and further proceedings will be completely dependent on what kind of work you want to do in the thesis okay. what kind of study you want to do what kind of output you want okay. so the professors and all they support your thesis very well okay, okay. so sometimes uh, you can try for funding through the to your professors okay. through other channels you can try for funding and uh, this is it's actually entirely up to you so if the topic is good and of course you need ethical clearance for thesis yes. if everything's all right you can go ahead with it mm -hmm. the case study will definitely help you okay. sir can you give the overview of how medicine department stands in usmani medical college yeah. so as i told the number of pgs is 28 yes uh, so each there are eight units yes eight units with three pgs per unit and plus or minus one pg yes. in uh, four units mm -hmm. and then uh, we have our op days yes. so every day an op day for a unit the one Uh, benefit uh, which I would like to tell is uh, since there are eight units and six days in a week, obviously, yes. so two units get three week yes, every week. week. Uh -huh. So during that week, they don't have any special admissions via OPD. Mm -hmm. So they'll have their free week. They'll have their ward cases to deal with. So it's a bit, a little bit like a break, okay. a one week, a small uh, little break in every month. Small kind of break. Small yeah. kind of break. Okay. So again, the next OPD again we get to see a lot of cases yes, and yeah. all, but uh, you can clear your cases. Some cases they'll be long-standing, like uh, they take longer, cases. longer duration for working up, or a chronic mm -hmm. cases take longer duration of management. But uh, you can uh, 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 work up those cases mm -hmm. in that week, or you can take some time off to study or something else like that. Sir, what are all the substations you will be having like uh, AMC, IMC, CQ? Yeah, we have uh, emergencies, obviously OPD, op OPD, then yes. AMC, yes. with medical care, then medical. IMC. intermediary like the step down i suppose okay. and seco it was uh, initially uh, it was initiated for during covid at the time of and now all the cases which require respiratory support they are being uh, dealt by the duty pg at uh, seco okay. the isolation ward of seco ventilated yeah most of the ventilator cases or non invasive ventilation also seco and by that most of them they'll be uh, taken care of there or some cases such as tuberculosis or some which need isolation also they'll be kept in those wards And of course, AMC includes all the critical cases which yes. occur during casualty hours or emergency basis. And AMC, as it states, is a step down ICU. Yes. So oh. AMC is uh, sorry to interrupt. AMC uh -huh. is uh, uh, 23 bedded. Uh -huh. uh, IMC is again for almost 35 to 40 bedded. Yes. CQ is again 35 to 40 bedded. Lot, no, lot, no, lots of cases yes. to deal with. Sir, uh, what are the works of our first year, second year, third year residents? So yeah, it depends on where you are posted because uh, the emergencies need morning. Uh, somebody has to cover the emergencies in the morning also. Yes. So the residents will be di uh, divided on a scheduled basis to morning AMC, morning IMC, or such. Okay. Most of the rest of the residents will be doing their ward work itself. Yes. So usually the seniors they look after the cases, their respective unit cases in AMC, IMC, and then go to the wards, okay. and the first year residents okay. go directly to the wards. Okay. So they deal with the ward stable cases. Okay. The emergency cases which require a higher uh, level of care will be taken up, taken care by the seniors. Okay. And of course the seniors also follow up on the ward cases. Okay. And then we have rounds by the faculty. Okay. Sir, uh, how often do you get a uh, night duties per month? Uh? Uh, night duties AMC is compulsory that will be on their respective OP days okay. on OP days of the unit. So that is a compulsion of four duties per month. Four duties per month. No, four duties of AMC. Four duties month. of AMC. Then okay. there will be Sunday rotations. Oh yes, sir. So that may or may not be there because there are eight units. Yes, once, one in months, once in two months. Once in two months. Once in two months of Sunday duty will be there. Okay. And night duties, so it will be distributed between first years and second years usually. Okay. So that will be another uh, two or three uh, based on the schedule. So approximately it will be around. Uh, Maybe seven duties to eight duties in the first year. Okay. In the second and third years, it will come down to around the five duties or so. Okay. Sir, uh, what are all cases uh, do you see in uh, in the night duties? Uh? Yeah, since being a broad specialty, um, uh, we get we see cases from all the systems, of course. So again, we we uh, triage the cases. So one of them, one of us will be posted in casualty. Yes, sir. So we triage the cases. Of course, some people come with simple pain abdomen, which can be managed by uh, antispasmodic medications. Yes. So we triage the cases which require admission in AMC or IMC or ward admissions also. Okay. So we get to see cases uh, ranging from anemia to simple anemia cases, iron deficiency cases during emergency sometimes because of severe anemia, of course. Yes, sir. And all towards uh, stroke, MI cases, okay, and uh, patients presenting with uh, altered sensorial meningitis. Yes, this is pertaining to neurology. Again, myocardial infarctions, all kinds of emergencies. So this is one kind of advantage where we have seen MI cases, we have seen CVA cases, and we have thrombolyzed the cases. Okay. So not uh, all colleges residents get to thrombolyze these patients because most of them will be redirected directly towards the specialty. Specialty. 
so even from the scheduled triage itself towards the specialty yes. so here we as medicine assistants first get to we are the first uh, step uh, yes. for these patients yes. so we thrombolize them based on the indications and then uh, they are taken up for PCI immediately by so cardiologist yeah. so you get to see wide range of so wide range of cases all, all the systems all specialties all systems we are the first step then they get to the respective specialties so we deal with all cases and uh, we are in touch with all the specialties of course which we have to be yes sir. so there's that so do pgs get a shift in uh, night duties sir? yeah shifts it is it is it is a basic necessity so yes, we get our shifts of course if sometimes it is very hectic yes, the sir. number of patients we don't know maybe there might be some mass casualty or something mm -hmm. it is rare but it do happen sometimes yes, there are large number of patients then we might have to forego on our shifts sometimes that but that is a rare occurrence based on the patient load based on the patient load but most of the times we manage we do manage with our shifts so that depends entirely on how many patients are coming also and the rapport between your co pgs oh, yes. that is also more important sir do pgs get a post duty off Uh, no post duty offs. No, we had we haven't had any post duty offs, and I th don't think the residents even now have any particular post duty offs. So duty day would start begin around 9 a.m. on that on said day, and uh, the next day post duty it would end somewhere in the afternoon around 3 p.m. or so because we have to continue the duty, and next day we have to look after all the patients who are admitted in the wards and uh, in emergencies also as like I've already said the seniors look after emergency cases. Yes. And then rounds and their work up begins the the day of admission and the next day right. All the basic investigations. So, particularly the post day off is not there. Okay. Sir, uh, what about DRP and peripherals, and uh, which all places uh, you will get posted in a uh, peripherals? So, DRP and peripherals in our second year. For DRP, we have uh, posted in all our affiliated area hospitals such as Malakpet, Mirpet, Kinkoti Hospital. Okay. So, we look up the cases there and we send peripherals. Even DRP, there are some duties, but those duties will be along with other uh, department PGs also, residents okay. also, and then. <coughs> excuse me. For uh, peripherals, uh, we are posted in all the super specialty departments, uh, yes. and uh, of course, endocrinology, nephrology, cardiology, neurology. Every department. Uh, yeah, departments which are present at Osmania. We do not have rheumatology and hematology, so for these, we had been posted to NIMS. Okay. We take permission from either of the deans and headquarters and principal, and then we get a posting that NIMS. That would be for one month. Whole of peripherals would last for around eight to eight months or so. Okay. So the division. Uh, between these peripherals is uh, is little bit uh, around one month for each. Or one so. month yeah, for each. Around specialty. approximately. Okay. Uh, approximately twenty days to thirty days for each specialty, depending okay. on how we divide it. Uh, so yeah, we'll be exposed to all the specialties. So, uh, how much time and uh, do PGs get in the residency? So uh, during residency, the f in first year we got around uh, we have sixty-seven thousand. Then. Second year it be seventy to seventy one, and in the final year it will be around seventy four. Okay. Uh, we we do have uh, tedious uh, cuttings that can be again uh, claimed at a later date. Okay. So that is the standard. But uh, then again, uh, during uh, there's a fifteen percent hike uh, which occurs. So every three years. Yeah, every three years. Okay. So based on that, the cycles will be will be on increment to match with inflation and. Uh, Then again, during SR ship, uh, we get an uh, increment of stipend that is around uh, one lakh, uh, one lakh, one lakh six thousand or so. Okay. Sir, what are uh, future job opportunities? Immediate post PG. So immediate post PG is we have our SR ship which yes. uh, needs to be done the uh, government bond that is for one year. Yes. So there you'll be posted uh, again uh, to many of the medical colleges okay. such as uh, City Pay, Vikarabad, you can be peripheral or you can be even posted in uh, Osmania or Gandhi also. Okay. It will depend on the amount, uh, what score you get during your final years. Okay. On your aggregate in your PG. Okay. So after that, you are free to go like a private or government no, setup again. Even in government setup again, to join as assistant professor, they look at your uh, SR ship, okay. your uh, marks, like how much you had secured in your PG examinations, and uh, SR ship is also really what matters because they look for experience. And you can go that way. Uh, even if uh, the regular postings are not available, you can go for contract assistant initially, and they count that as experience. Okay. So you can go via that. Okay. And uh, in case of uh, private setup, private setup, of course, again corporate or uh, your own setup. Corporate again, it starts from a pay scale of eighty to one lakh, two course up till one point five to two. Two lakh. So again, it also depends on the city which are preferring the tier one, two, three cities. Okay. The peripheral places pay any more. Okay. So and it's uh, your own setup. Initially, it will take it will take time. Uh, to it will be tough. It will be tough. It will be difficult as a coming up uh, the general physician. But eventually, as the patients they build they build more trust, build yes. more trust with your patients. So then it picks up. Okay. But definitely, it's going to take time. Again, it will depend on whether it's a new establishment or an already established hospital, mm. uh, which you are aware of. Yeah, that is all, that also matters. Okay. 
or is it mandatory to pursue the DM in case of medicine? Uh, mandatory. It, uh, it is all up to job opportunities yeah, outside. It is all up to personal choice. Okay. See, even DM, there are a lot of DM uh, doctors who had pursued the super specialties who are currently uh, doing uh, the, having the setups in uh, Kayagan cities. Okay. So it is almost similar for broad special, be it broad specialty or super specialty. There are uh, lots of doctors in higher uh, cities. So it will be entirely up to you. Suppose I had a personal interest to take up endocrinology. So I had taken up. I was more interested leaning towards, more interested in the treatment of diabetes, okay. thyroid, or any uh, poor endocrine cases, even pituitary adrenal sense, such. So I had taken up endocrinology. Okay. So you can uh, bring a lot to the table, even with general medicine. Okay. So it depends on how you interact with your patients, how you build up your own self. So it is a person, matter of personal choice. Again. Sir, uh, how is the work-life balance in the Department of Medicine? Work-life balance is very good in Osmania Medicine. Okay. That is, without a, doubt, without a doubt, I can say that. Okay. So our seniors have been very helpful. We had very good juniors also. Okay. Even when I was in first year, I had very great seniors. Okay. The work-life balance is very good. They don't uh, uh, they don't uh, give away all their work to you. They do their part, I do my part. Equally of course, easy. as a first year, we have a little more work. That is expected. But it is overall, it is very balanced. Okay. The faculty are good. Yes, uh, future scopes of uh, pursuing DM post uh, MD medicine. So, as uh, uh, MD general medicine or internal medicine resident, uh, you have lot of many branches you can choose from if you are willing to pursue DM, uh, DM or DRMD. So, okay. you can go for uh, the well known, already known branches endocrinology, rheumatology, rheumatology, cardio, nephro, neuro, and also you are eligible for meta oncology okay. and you are also eligible for critical okay. care. It just depends on the exam you write. Now they have provided uh, multiple options even for exams okay. in meet SS exams. Mm -hmm. uh, so it depends on what's your personal interest. So again, would you like to deal with emergencies? Then you can go with critical care. Yes. So if not not wanting to be very much with emergencies, you can go for a branch like endocrinology or so. Yes. So that. Way. Sir, is there any difference uh, of pursuing MDI or DNB? in your residency? MD and DNB in general medicine, again, it, uh, one of the differences between uh, government and private, which we had already discussed. Yes. So, and uh, right now, the prospects for MD and DNB students is pretty much the same. Almost it same. Used to be a, it used to be a different uh, previously, with DNB exams being relatively tougher. Yes. Uh, they say that uh, MD exams are on, relatively on the easier aspect. So, but uh, coming out, both are medicine, internal medicine residents, both have equally good opportunities okay. and it also depends on where you are doing. Okay. So some institutes, uh, DNB, even though they are DNB, they are very, very sought after institutes. Okay. So it depends on where you are doing and how you come out as a physician. Okay. Sir, one piece of advice would you like to give to the young APG asp aspirants who are thinking to choose uh, medicine as their dream branch? Yeah, one piece of uh, the advice which I'd like to give is uh, get to know all your co-PGs, of course, I mean also the PGs from other departments. Because as a medicine resident, you will be in touch with all the departments, whether you like it or not. So try to make, uh, uh, try to get in touch with other PGs, even the super specialty residents. They'll be very helpful. They'll be happy to help you, if you in case you have any doubts. And be friendly, uh, share your knowledge. And also, uh, uh, one thing I'd like to say is be the senior you always wanted. Thank you, sir, for sparing your valuable time. Uh, please do like, share and subscribe for more uh, related content.